Ladies and gentlemen, I have discovered a new danger, a new threat to the Western civilization and our British society. It's called, and I'm coming up with it, lockdown feminism. <laughs> this, just a heads up, this is a bit of a horror story. It's a bit scary. Thinking about how there are certain individuals within our society who do this. Okay, it's funny, but it's dark. Diana started this Twitter nonsensical discussion saying my husband, my husband took my kids to eat indoors at a restaurant tonight. Dot, dot, dot. I am outraged. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Anna, another one, another ally replied, that would be an ex-husband to me. Anger crying emoji. Didn't know you could do that, but okay. Diana replied, we are now in the middle of getting divorced. <laughs> I feel so sorry for those kids. Then you got Penny. Look at the rest of the name of that the absolute state of that profile. Saying, good for you. That's abusive. I mean, you know why I'm laughing? Especially because they're not in my life. But it's, it's ridiculous. But it is dangerous. You, there is a psychological harm against our children right now from the government side in terms of the government policies with their obviously covering their faces there is a psychological harm long term and then you got these parents lockdown feminism now look at this look at these these are the leaders of lockdown feminism <laughs> now look at this this one also hangs out hangs around with the blm crowd of course she hangs around with the western blm crowd imagine if these people went to you know, parts of Africa or the Middle East to talk about fight for justice. Yeah, they'll probably last for about 10 minutes. Now, to finish this, I've got my favorite to bring you back as another example of lockdown feminism. Dr. Julia Patterson. I am shocked that I'm still not blocked by her. She's blocked everybody. And I keep making videos about her. I keep tweeting. <laughs> I want to be blocked. I don't really want to be blocked, but I'm surprised that I haven't. Uh, she has a... Fetish. <laughs> she threatens people when they tweet about her, when they make videos about her. She says, I'm going to take legal action on the grounds of slander, libel. She's very into it. She loves that sort of stuff. She just tweeted this. She hates slander and libel. Then she tweeted literally earlier today, this morning. The government wants, to, wants the NHS to fail. Slander. Libel. Oh, it doesn't really matter. They've taken steps to destabilize it for over a decade. Sure. They deliberately underfund their services and they do not support the NHS staff. As public opinion plumbers, they will find... Okay, firstly, that is literally... It's libelous. You can't say that because it's not true. You have no evidence. The reason it's not true is because it's the exact opposite. That's the reality. Have you seen what this government have been doing? They forced us to stay at home, they said for two, three weeks, to protect the NHS. This is the longest three weeks of my life. It's still going on. This is the same government who have been overfunding the bottomless pit and bucket that we have. Extra funding, extra funding. They promoted clapping at 8 p.m. every Thursday. They love their rainbow NHS badges. They keep saying that anybody who, an individual citizen who pays with their tax money for the NHS, who undermines the NHS, would be threatened not to be um, entitled to the services. You need your all, you need your six and seven boosters in order to actually use the NHS. And yeah, yet yeah, Julia thinks that this is a plot, that the government have been doing the exact opposite. Are you kidding me? The issue of uh, lockdown feminism, I am going to make it a thing, I'm going to create it, <laughs> going to do a hashtag, it's going to be a campaign, but because while that's a joke, it is, it's a thing. It's a very, very underrated submarine thing that exists inside our culture. And it, it, it applies to a lot of people, and it's not just female, of course, it is also a lot of men. Who, this kind of wet blanket, liberal, lefty, politically correct, self-hating political greed and western 
just completely hate everything about the West. This, I'm gonna make it simplified. For the next few months, my campaign is against lockdown feminism. Thanks again for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're gonna have a lot of updates for you guys. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.